Hey, what's up there guys and welcome back to another video. Now today I am going to be talking about how to reduce your keyboard and mouse clicks. So first on the list what you're going to need is some o-rings and you'd think it might not work because it's just a piece of rubber but it actually does, it stops, um, it stops a lot of noise. So I got kinky thick 2.5 millimeters. Um, you don't have to get these, I'm from the UK and I got these 150 in a pack, pretty goddamn good deal actually. A little bit on the expensive side, but I figured risk it, go for it. And it actually worked out, so I'm going to move my microphone closer. This K key does not have an O-ring. This is a red switch, so it doesn't click when it really goes down. So there's no O-ring in here, there you go. And I'm going to put it back on the K button where it belongs. You can probably hear that. I'm going to move the microphone closer and you get to hear it with and without. So as you could hear, it reduced the sound a lot and the reason this helped is because I'm not using any like crazy switches like a blue and um, the thing with blue switches is that it makes a click every time it goes down. So if you have a Black Widow keyboard from Razer then you will have that problem and this tutorial will not really work for you. Um, I recommend keep watching though because if you do switch keyboard then this video will help you. Now it actually took me a long time to figure out how to reduce uh, keyboard sounds and mouse clicks. There's nothing you can really do about mouse clicks but the keyboard can be reduced a lot. And also another good tip is to, if you have a condenser mic, put it closer to your mouth and turn down the volume of your microphone. Um, if you put your microphone very far away from your mouth and then turn up the volume it's going to pick up at everything so please don't do that nobody likes that and it's a bit annoying so you know put the microphone close to your mouth turn down the volume and you should get some nice crisp audio so now we're going to be moving on to audacity this is sort of where like the magic happens for me um i've actually got a clip here and i'm going to be showing you guys what it sounds like with and without the edit and I'm also going to be showing you how to do it. Um, I don't use anything else apart from this because I've used this for a long time. And I don't really feel the need to switch. So with that out the way, let's get right into it. So when you guys actually record, make sure you leave a blank space. And do a couple of keyboard presses and mouse clicks. And then I'm going to play my little clip for you. And then I'll show you what to do after. This is a simple test recording. Okay, so in the beginning there you probably heard a few keyboard clicks and mouse clicks. So uh, we're going to reduce that right now. And you want to highlight the part of the section and go to effects. So obviously this is the awful part for me. Now this will occur throughout the entire video, keep that in mind. So that's why we have this no talking part. So I'm going to go to effect, noise reduction. And then I'm just going to use these settings if you want. It depends on your mic and depends on like all your stuff. So just tinker with it. Just, you know, just experience. Um, but if you choose these numbers and put them higher, your voice will become robotic. So keep them low. So get noise profile as soon as you have the right settings. And I'm going to double left click to highlight the entire thing. And then I'm going to just repeat noise reduction. And now if I mute the microphone and play this back. This is a simple test recording. Now, as you can see right there, it did nothing to my voice really. Um, if I actually undo the noise reduction and then redo it, the only thing that changes is this little bit here. Pull. So simple. Pull. Pull. Pull actually got a, a little uh, tweak right there, but uh, apart from that, absolutely nothing changed on the voice. You can't even tell, and that's what we need. And of course, the mouse and keyboard clicks are pretty non-existent. Also, keep in mind, guys, when you're actually not talking in your recording, you have the game background. So that's also going to mask the keyboard and mouse clicks. So just keep that in mind. 
So yeah, with all that out the way, we're going to jump into game, we're going to kill a few mobs, and it's actually recording from Audacity with the edit. So you guys will be able to, you know, judge for yourself what it sounds like in-game, uh, especially with, like, the background and all the fighting going on. Will you be able to hear the keyboard clicks and mouse clicks? Because it is an MMO, I'm going to be mashing my keys, one to five. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, now we are into the game. And I'm just going to like kill some stuff and you'll be able to see there should be like no mouse and keyboard clicks like epically. Now this is an MMO so I'm probably like bashing my buttons quite hard actually. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. So, kill two things. Um, hopefully it helped. And I'm going to mine this little rock right here because I'm a badass. And boom. Okay, guys. There is one more method to reduce your keyboard and mouse noises. It's a little bit on the ghetto side. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's not the best method, but it works. So I'm going to copy this bit of my video. This is the video we're actually watching right now. And I'm just going to paste it into the timeline. Now I'm going to zoom into the middle. And you'll see I've talked on the left and the right side, but there's this big gap in the middle. So let's say if you stop talking, but there's a lot of keyboard and mouse clicks, you can just cut it and cut it. And then bring down the volume, bring down the slider. Now, this doesn't work with your voice, you know, obviously there's going to be keyboard and mouse clicks still there, but your voice is sort of masking the noise. So when there's like a pause where you didn't speak and you want to keep that in the video, just cut it, cut it, and turn down the volume. Um, like I said, a little bit ghetto, but it's, you know, it's another way around it. It's not the best method, but I thought I'd add it in the video anyway, just to help you guys out. Anyway, I think that's it for me, guys. It's 7 a.m. I haven't slept. I've been making this video for you guys. I've been hard at work. I'm trying to produce more content for you guys. Anyway, hope it helped. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any problems, just comment down below, and I'll try and help you as best as I can. But that's it for me, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.